Hey everyone, welcome back to my floss tube channel. This is Kansas City Girl in the Colorado World. Uh, my real name is Julie. This is floss tube number seven. It's crazy. Um, I feel like it's been a little long. I don't, I don't really have a schedule for my floss tube. Like I don't I don't know, like once a week seems pretty good to me. I feel like with the holidays, that's kind of stretched a little bit. Sometimes it's like every week and a half or so, so I apologize um, for, you know, it, you, you guys know this time of year, it's busy. You're busy, I'm busy, everybody's busy. There's a lot going on this time of year, so. Um, I apologize if I haven't been updating as frequently as I would like, but that's okay. I mean, I feel like I'm still doing pretty good. So anyway, um, it's Monday, December 11th, and I have a lot. Well, I think a lot to show you. I, I feel like I've done a lot. Very, very excited about some of the things I have to show you today. Um, so first thing, just a couple things to touch on. Um, it's been really warm here. It's been like 60 degrees the last couple of days. And I'm so ready for cold, cozy Christmas weather. And it's just not cold, but that's okay. I'm still getting in the Christmas spirit. You know, we got our tree up, we decorated. I'm going to make some Christmas crack candy um, tonight, hopefully. Uh, our neighborhood is crazy into Christmas lights. It's awesome. We moved here in May. So this is my first Christmas here. We didn't move to Colorado in May. We moved to this neighborhood in May. Um, this neighborhood goes really hard for Christmas lights. <laughs> and not just like one little, you know, like a cute little string of lights. Like these people like National Lampoon's like lights. It, it's awesome. It's like driving through the neighborhood. Um, so that's really fun, uh, but I'm, I'm very excited. I love Christmas. I love Christmas decorations. I'm excited. And um, I got a few Christmas decorations to show you, actually, that I've, I've finished. Um, and then I also wanted to just kind of touch on, um, I'm sure you have all heard, and I hope I'm not the one breaking this news, um, but Martina Rosenberg, the founder and designer of Chatelaine, designs. Um, she passed away unexpectedly last week and, um, I, you know, I have two shadowing patterns. Spring of this year, I kind of dipped my toes into that. I just bought two instead of one. Um, so admire and, and hope to stitch many of her patterns. You know, they're very expensive patterns and especially very expensive to actually kit up. So, um, hi. So I only have two, but, you know, hope to have more. And, um, with the untimely passing, I, I, I think I'll, I'll buy those sooner than later. Um, her daughter understandably is dealing with a lot right now, um, has has said she hopes to continue um, her mother's work and continue with her with selling, but I I don't want to be like a fear monger or anything, but like you know what if in a year from now she's like my heart's not in it, I don't want to do it anymore, and and those designs are never available again. So I I think I'm gonna just kind of buy what I want. They can sit unstitched for as long as they have to sit, but I think I'm just going to take the plunge and not buy the full kit, but at least buy the patterns of some of those designs. I'm, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I know, I'm sure you all are too. I, I'm, I'm so, it, it's sad period that, you know, she was still young and, and had so much more to do. Um, but like, just to think of what might have been, what she could have come up with, 
because her designs are just phenomenally gorgeous and so unique and so creative. And just to think like what else she could have cooked up for us. It, it, oh, it sucks. It sucks. I, I mean, but that also sounds really selfish because obviously, you know, like her daughter, I feel horrible for her um, just to have lost her mother. Um, but it is a huge loss for the, the stitching community too. I mean, she was a friend to many, um, but just, I'm, I'm so sad that, you know, just to what, what we're missing out on that we'll never know that we're missing out on that she could have given us. So, all right, that's, that, that's enough sadness. Um, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, I, well, wait, before we move on, I just want to say, <laughs> um, I don't feel like I can, I can work on my shadowing anytime soon. I think it's just too sad. So maybe in, in a month or two, I'll be able to pick one up. But I know a lot of people, you know, did stitch on their shadowings in memory, which is beautiful and wonderful. I just, I wanted to do it, but I couldn't. I just, I looked at my shadowing and I was just like, no. So. No. Um, I guess I'll show it because it is sitting right here. I don't have very much done on it. This is blue Moroccan lace. Very little done on it. We'll pick it up soon, hopefully. Um, my other chatelaine is Marie Antoinette, which I have now fully kitted up but have not started because... Um, I didn't get that picture. This plus French lilac is what I'm going to stitch it on. And I didn't get it until November 30th. And then I was doing Christmas stitching. So, um, next year, I think that, um, well, I don't think I know that will be a start next year for sure. Um, okay. So let's move on. Uh, Lantern Lane, little, little house needleworks, Lantern Lane. I've shown it to you guys like four times because I finished it and then I stuffed it and showed you that. But I didn't, I, I couldn't figure out how I wanted to fully finish it. Um, I went to Michael's and I found just the absolute perfect palette in the perfect color. It's a wooden palette in the perfect color. So I finally fully finished it and I'm so excited. I really love it. It's simple, but I love how it turned out. So like crazy, right? That this wooden palette is ended up being the absolute perfect size. How crazy is that? Like the, you know, I didn't do any modifications. It's just absolutely perfect. And more importantly, I thought the color kind of just perfectly complemented this pattern. And then I just um, glued this little holiday pick with pine cones and a little cranberry or something or other. Um, just to give it a little bit more Christmas oomph, but I love it. I'm so happy with how it turned out and I'm so glad I waited because, you know, I think I told you guys I just wasn't like thrilled about the other wooden palette I had for it and I'm glad I waited and found that just right thing. This is stitched on 36 count legacy by picture this plus one over two with uh, I believe they're all classic color works threads. The, I didn't do the silks that it called for, but, um, the classic color works conversion, except for one, um, the white was, was not white enough. So I did toasted marshmallow and even now it could be whiter, still not quite white enough, but better. The original color really just blended right in. So there's that. Yay. Fully finished. Love it. Beautiful. So happy. So happy. But that's not all folks. I also finished another project and then said, Hey, what the heck? Let me mount and frame that up and fully finish that thing. So, um, heartstring samplers, baby, it's cold outside. Fully finished. Ta-da! Finished stitching it. Mounted it with some batting. Um, and then just put some, this is just some plaid fabric I found at the store. 
And then this sled, I believe, is from Joann's. If not Joann's, it was Michael's. But I think it was from Joann's, you know, 60% off or 50% off, something like that. And it just kind of fit just perfectly on there. So there's that. Woohoo! All the called for threads on 36 count. Picture this plus ale, which was also the called for. Which is much darker than what the picture made it look. But I'm I'm happy about that because then this these snowflakes show up so well. And I think that on a lighter fabric like the picture looked, those snowflakes would get a little bit lost. So um, I think it was a good thing that it was a little darker. Um, Lisa the Kindred Stitcher in, um, Farm Girl, I think her name is, isn't her name Michelle? I don't, I, maybe I'm making that up, but you know, you guys, you guys all know Farm Girl. Everybody knows Farm Girl. Um, they both stitched this, uh, coincidentally at the same time I was, um, and they did a sal, um, but I didn't ever like post and tag anything with this because it stitched up so fast. I just, whatever, I never got around to it, but I soweled with them in spirit. There you go. Two fully finished objects, guys. I, I felt so very productive. Um, and then I did a bunch of whips. Like, I don't know. I went a little crazy there too. So let's see, what's, 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 so first of all, I worked some more on Happily Ever After by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Now, this is the thing about me. This isn't Christmas stitching. I, you know, had my, my plans for Christmas stitching only. And then I just really, really wanted to work on this. And so I just, I did, I worked on this instead. But then put it back down to do more Christmas stitching. So, um, this isn't, will not be done this year. I, I could absolutely get this done this year. If I said, if I threw all my Christmas stitching aside and just worked on this, it would only take me a little longer to finish it. I just have the bottom to do three blocks and I've already started on this one on the far left, but I'm going to work on my Christmas stitching. So this will be done next year. Sneak peeks coming real soon, guys. Wednesday, they're going to tell us the theme for the next year, which I don't know for sure if I'm going to participate. I, I probably will, but I might wait. I might wait, you know, till February or March and see what the first few blocks, well, first see what the theme is and then see what the first few blocks look like because they're saying this one's going to be like way different. It makes me kind of nervous. So I don't know. I want to kind of see what I'm getting into before I commit to that, but I'll probably end up doing it. Um, so another floss tuber, Lil Snips was talking about how she's like really trying to limit her styles this year. And I mean, for 2018 and I'm like, yeah, me too. Me too. But I know like I say that, but I know that I will join so many sales, you guys. I cannot help myself. I have such a fear of missing out. Um, but so far, I am only committed to two. <laughs> Sorry to say. I forgot about the Jane. Jane Austen sale is a very low key, low pressure sale. Like there's no like mystery to it and you don't have to get it done in any certain time, but I'm going to be doing the Jane, Jane Austen style next year. And then, um, the Armada designs, Harry Potter class schedule style. And then I'm very, very likely going to do the clouds factory style. I don't know if I'll even wait. I'll probably just plunge in and do that one. Um, but the rest, I'm going to kind of wait and see. Um, so speaking of the Armada designs, Harry Potter class style, class schedule style. Bought it, started it. Don't didn't get very far, but I gotta start. But you know, it doesn't really officially start until January. I'm just it's just the border. But um, I dyed my own fabric for this one because um, I don't know. I like to do that for sales. I kind of felt like it. So this is a 28 count even weave, and it was. The color was called powder blue. And then I took 
some yarn dye, right? It, it literally it's yarn dye. Tulip Color Lab. This is not the color I use. Um, I used Storm and Onyx, so a gray and a black, and I just kind of freehand like flung it at this powder blue, and I love the result. It's a smidge lighter than I wanted. Like I would like it to be a little darker, but I'm really happy with it, and I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to work great, although I don't know what the heck this thing's going to look like, but I just... I have high hopes. I think it's going to be good. For some reason, when I use that dye, I get these super random splotches of colors that make no sense. Like, I, I have a random splotch of pink and a random splotch of blue and, like, there's some yellow. Uh, I don't know why. Look, purple. It was a gray and a black, but somehow that happens. Um... But for this piece, I think it absolutely fits and totally gives it character, and I don't mind at all. It's going to be great. What else have I worked on? More Harry Potter. I started, um, let me see who the designer is, sorry, up to cross stitch on Etsy. I started this Happy Christmas, you filthy muggle. Um, and I know it's a teeny little picture, but that's what it's supposed to look like. And the designer is up to X stitch. Then I started that on Ada, which I hate. You guys know I hate Ada. And the here's why, you guys. It's so stiff and unyielding. Also, somehow it's humongous. Look how big this stupid thing is. Lord help me. But here's my start. This is how big it's going to be. Hey, hey, hey. Stop shaking your camera, please. So that's it. I was gonna do like an even weave or a linen, and then I got impatient and it was expensive, and I blah blah blah. So I just bought a huge 14 count black Ada. And I'm just, I don't know. This is gonna be hard. I already know. Like, it's gonna be hard for me to go back to it and do it because I'm a, I don't like stitching on it. It's stitching up fast and easy, and it looks great. But it's just not a joy to stitch on that unyielding, stiff Ada. Uh, the other thing I started... <laughs> yeah, another thing. Um, little... No, Country Cottage Needleworks, Merry Christmas, my dear. Here's what it looks like when it's all finished. And this is stitching up really super duper fast. This is like two days of stitching and I'm about ready to move the Q-snaps. I just have to put some green on here and put the other uh, branch up here, which just matches this one. And then just like some trees here, some trees here, and we're done. So it's stitching up real fast. Look at that. So cute. This is 32 count petite. And um, the fab the the pattern I think calls for natural, but this is gray, which I think looks just as good. Looks very similar. There we go. All right, those are my whips. So what else do we have? Haul. We've got some haul because um, my my Black Friday orders came in finally. I shouldn't say finally. They actually came in really fast. I ordered two. Two orders from Stony Creek. I got them like super duper quick. I think within a week. Um, I only have one outstanding Black Friday order. And that is one piece of fabric from Hand Dyed by Stephanie. Which I saw a message today on like Stitch Mania that I think she's been sick. So maybe that, I mean, I, I didn't expect it to be like immediately sent to me because I know those are dyed to order. So I know it's going to be a few weeks. So I'm not complaining at all, but, um, I literally ordered and I only ordered one piece of fabric and I ordered it like the second the coupon code went active because I was laying in bed playing on my phone, picking out fabric. And I like, I tried it and it said it's not active. And then like a minute later I tried it again and it went through. So I know I was one of the first orders. So 
in that respect, I was like, maybe, like, I'll get a shipping notice right away and I'll get my fabric really quick. But I haven't yet. But that's okay. I mean, it's fine. I knew it would be a little bit of time, so I'm not complaining. And then I did read that she was sick, so get better, Stephanie. I can't wait to get my fabric, though. I'm so excited. Okay, so, Paul. From Stony Creek, I got... <laughs> I got two orders, so whatever. Um, first one, Pomegranate Santa by Plum Street Samplers. Woo! Love this one. It's been on my wish list forever. I think it is so cute. Sorry if that's blurry, y'all. I, I think that's the last of my Christmas buying. Um, I also got Plum Street Samplers Heritage Sampler, which you probably won't be able to see really well because it's small even on this pick, but I think this is so cool. The saying is, oh, beautiful for heroes proved in liberating strife, who more than self their country loved, and mercy more than life. Very cool. And then I got, I'm so excited, you guys. Hands on Design Sunflower Manor by our own Priscilla. I mean, well, it's not, it's by Kathy, but Priscilla did the original art. Oh, Priscilla, finally got some of your chalkboard stuff. I'm so excited. But. I mean, it's for autumn, so that's for next year. I'm not going to stitch it anytime soon. But did you guys see the new winter? Did you see the winter one? They just released it, like, uh, Saturday or Sunday. Kathy did it, and then Priscilla showed it in her video. Um, Let It Snow Bungalow. I am so excited. I love it. I love the design. I love the colors. The colors are wonderful. Priscilla, I'm so excited. It looks awesome. I'm going to, like, order it the second I can, and I'm going to start stitching it because I don't care. It's not too Christmassy, so I'm going to do it even into January. So, so excited. Looks amazing. But for autumn, I'll do this one. Okay. Then I got, um, this is also for next autumn. I just, I didn't want to forget to, to order it, so I got Blackbird Designs Away We Ride which I've admired for ages and just finally just buckled down and ordered it. Away we ride till it's darkest pitch to find the home of the Wicked Witch. Okay. What else did we get? So we got some fabric. I got Lakeside Linen 36 Count Vintage Light Exemplar. And then I got... I have another one in here. Where did it go? I'm sitting on it. Ah, here it is. R&R uh, &R Linen 36 Count Winter Brew, and then R&R &R Linen 36 Count Plum Street Blend, which I thought was interesting. And let me show you how different they are, like very subtly, tonally different when you hold them all up next to each other. They're all, they're three very usable, easy neutrals, but like you definitely get some difference when you really hold them next to each other. Very cool. Just, that, that was totally random impulse, like, I just like to keep stuff like this on hand so I can start projects whenever I want, randomly. Okay. Um, this was actually something I ordered some time ago, um, was accidentally left out of my Etsy order and the seller finally got it back in stock and then, um, sent it to me, but it's not a new purchase. <laughs> um, so it's JC Nash Primitives Christmas at Holly Berry Farm. So pretty. Very excited about that. I definitely gonna have to do Santa Sundays, like all of 2018 to do all this Christmas stitching, you guys. Okay. And then so, so excited. Um, I got my first Mirabilia. I admire 
Mirabilias, I think they're beautiful, but they're usually not just quite for me. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm just not, I, I think they're so, I admire them. I think they're so pretty, but I don't need, like, a fairy. I don't need to stitch a fairy or display it, I guess is how I feel. And I do not mean to offend anybody because I know that they have a huge following and tons, people stitch tons of them and they're, they're wonderful. I, I mean, I love to look at them. Please, like, keep showing them. I love to see them. But I just personally am like, would I put that on my wall? No, probably not. Maybe, though. Never say never. So, but there is one Mirabilia that every time I see it, I'm like, ugh. It just, it, it sings to me. It doesn't just call to me. It sings to me. It's so pretty. And I'm like, I, I want to stitch that. And I finally was like, I'm going to stitch it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to stitch it. It's the Snow Queen. I just think it's so beautiful. And then I got the bead pack too. Woohoo! And then my fabric that I'm waiting on from Hand Dyed by Stephanie is going to be for this. So I can't start it yet because I'm waiting on my fabric. And I don't know, you know how it is ordering fabrics online. Once I see it in person, I might be like, oh, no, 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 not for this. I'm hoping, though. I'm very hopeful that it'll look really great on this or for this. And then... I bought the um, silks for it, and funny story, <laughs> I buy them, I called for two skeins of the water, they're water lilies, I think, yeah, water lilies, so, you know, those aren't cheap, bought them, and then I joined the Facebook Snow Queen group, which I didn't know existed until after I bought it, and I was searching, because I was trying to pick my fabric out so I was searching on Facebook to see what other what fabric other people were using and I found the Facebook group wonderful I joined they accept me someone on there is like hey by the way I only needed one skein of, of both of these colors I have no idea why the pattern asks for two and I'm like no that can't be and then everybody's like yep yeah, me too only needed one didn't even use the whole thing <laughs> So I've got extra of these. <sighs> Would have been nice if I had joined the Facebook group before I bought them, but I'm, it's fine. Whatever. You know, I just have two extra water lilies. It's in porcelain blue and monsoon. Um, I'll use them for something else because I love stitching with the water lilies. I think they're absolutely gorgeous and wonderful. So I'll make do. But, um... So that's my first Mirabilia, and I can't wait to start it once I get my fabric. So excited. But, um, I definitely think now that I'm, like, open that rabbit hole, I'll probably buy more at some point. I'll probably start stitching more, especially if I really enjoy stitching that one, which I think I will. It just looks like it'll be beautiful and fun to stitch. Um, and then I'll, you know, there's definitely some other ones that have caught my eye, like the Gypsy Queen and a few others. So, who knows, you know, people, people's tastes change and people change. And I might end up, you know, stitching those all the time, like a super fan. But either way, they're beautiful and I like to see everybody else stitch them too. So, um, alright guys, I think that's enough for... For this one, um, I th I've showed you all I, I can think of for right now. Um, might want to do another video with like plans for, for 2018. I've got a bunch of projects kitted that I've never started. Like I'm almost like, I'm super excited for 2007, 2018 because, um, I can move away from all this Christmas stitching start, um, just stitching all my other stuff that I got that I'll show you someday. Um, but, um, I need to like get my planner out and like make some plans because I was watching another floss tuber, uh, Kate's crafting corner, which I remembered it this time, Kate. <laughs> um, and she has like, and she admits she's probably not going to stick to it, which is so funny cause I'm the same way, but she like, 
has this whole, like, 2018, like, schedule planned out where she's, like, the first four days of the month, I'm going to work on this. And then these days I'm going to do this. And then, like, uh, I, like, she has, like, some extra days to work on whatever she wants. And I just thought it was so cute and, like, neat how, she, how organized she was. And hilariously, she's like, I'll, I'll, it'll probably all go out the window, but... I'm the same way. I like to, you know, kind of plan stuff like that. And then I never follow through. Like this month I was only going to do Christmas stitching and then I just had to pull out my happily ever after Sal. And there's a few other things that have been calling my name. I'm doing that Harry Potter class schedule, Sal. I had to start it. Um, so my plans get derailed too. And I, I, it's, this hobby is fun. I just want to do what I want to do and have fun. So if I really want to stitch something that wasn't in my plans, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to stitch it. So um, I'm sure that a lot of you agree with that sentiment. But I still thought it was cool how like organized and, and neat her little planner was. So I still kind of want to do that. And if I do, I'll show y'all um, and kind of show you what my plans are for 2018. In the meantime, I'm going to work on some Christmas stitching. Um, maybe get a few more one or two more things done. Maybe not. I think I could definitely get Merry Christmas My Dear done. Like in two or three more days of stitching, I'll, I'll have that done and then hopefully um, finish it and show it to you guys. Um, and then I'm really excited about um, some of the winter stitching I can do that I could do for Christmas, but it can also continue into January and February. Like the Snow Queen, I think would be really cool to like work on that anytime it snows, which here in Colorado, it snows up until May, you guys. We usually get a snow, like, around Mother's Day. So, like, mid-May, we still get snow. So, I can, I can work on that for months to come, even if it's not Christmas time. But anyway, I'm just rambling now, so I'm gonna sign off. Um, I will hopefully be back soon with new fun stuff to show you. I'm definitely, like, kind of putting... I shouldn't say that. I was going to say I'm putting the brakes on my spending. And then I remembered that next payday I'm going to buy a bunch of Chatelaines. So that's kind of a lie. Um, so yeah, I'll be back with, with purchases and whips and hopefully some finishes to show you guys. Um, thanks for joining me again today. If it's your first time checking me out, great. Welcome. I hope you, you enjoyed um, and if you're a loyal viewer <laughs> of all, like, the whole month I've been doing this and all seven videos, um, I appreciate you, too. I'm making some friends. I'm starting to, like, kind of get into this community a little more, and um, it's really exciting. Floss tubers are good people. Really good people. So, um, any questions, always feel free to ask below happy to answer. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.